Okay, thanks, Greg. Uh, so uh, my name's Rosalie. I um, uh, work in surveillance policy. I will be quickly going through the surveillance approach that we're taking. So the aim of the surveillance program itself is to develop a broad understanding of where the pest is present in Queensland and where it isn't. It's not principally designed for pest management purposes at all, just to get that understanding of spread and distribution. And so because of that, um, the approach is to put in place a wide network of traps and we're, as you know now, baiting them with pheromone lures and um, a toxicant. So um, I think these traps have got a few different names. Um, when we are ordering them, they're called universal bucket traps, but if they're called pot traps too, as Mark's described them, then, then um, I guess that's it too. But that's what they look like. Um, that's one that's installed in the field. Um, and the lure that we're using is the Spodoptera frugiperida lure um, biospodoptera, which is attractant to the male moth. Uh, and the toxicant is the dichlorvis tubes. And you can see in this slide um, how tiny they are. And they're just placed in the bottom of the trap. And the lure is placed in the, that little um, receptacle at the top. And um, that's how they're, they're placed 1.5 metres above the ground. Um, that's a safety consideration that's outlined in the permit and they're being located in open areas near cultivated host plants or tall grassy areas and in areas that are dark at night so that um, you know they're not competing with street lights and um, other lighting sources. So um, this is a map of uh, the trap locations. Actually it's two things. So this this is showing the known infested area of the current detections. So you'll see um, the three up in the northern part that were um, detections on the Torres Strait Islands of Saibai and Irub in January and uh, Bamaga in mid-February and the northwest Gulf Country in late February and then moving down to um, South Johnson, Tolga, Lakeland. So, so the red area is um, like a hundred kilometre buffer of those known detections, and um, because they're such strong flyers, we've um, put a five hundred kilometre buffer on where we think they're possibly present. So very likely within the hundred kilometre red area, and likely within. The yellow area and that's because they are known to, adult moths are known to fly hundreds of kilometers and even further if they're um, caught in jet streams so the little um, green dots with the numbers in them are track locations now this map may change in fact is very light um, you know it changes depending on um, you know, detections that, that we may find and also um, cooperators, uh, staff and um, numbers of traps that we're able to uh, get our hands on and um, various other factors. But at the moment, this is the current map with the numbers of traps. And each trap site has two traps placed at least 50 metres apart, 50 to 100 metres apart to maximise the presence of, of the lure. And that's the, that's the current distribution. So, um, as far as those, and I just wanted to run briefly through the permit. I'm not a chemical expert, but um, the permit is available for viewing at the Australian Pesticides and Veterinary Medicines Authority website or the APVMA website. It's number eight nine one six nine. Uh, the permit for the um, the lure and the toxicant is held by the Department of the Federal Department of Agriculture, Water and Environment, and it outlines the supply use and the directions for use of the lure and the toxicant. And it, so those directions must be followed according to the permit and any product label. 
So currently use is restricted to the Commonwealth and state government biosecurity staff and those under their direction and the handling and use of products under the permit. And there are some um, personal and protective equipment um, recommendations under it as well. And so as Mark outlined earlier, the lure is currently sourced from overseas. And I believe you can get the, um, the, the traps themselves in Australia, but you can also order them locally. Um, are from overseas as well from the same suppliers as the law. So um, yeah, that that rounds up my presentation and I'm happy to take questions.